Hello, folks! Welcome to Paddling Pool 227. Um, I am Spy, joined here by the amazing Dally. Hello. Okay, Hi. Dally doesn't want to talk to us. Oh, okay. <laughs> of course I want to talk, man. I'm just like... Well... What do you call it? Sometimes I kind of just like to mess with people, you know? Mess with yeah. you guys a little bit, you know? Pretend I'm there, but actually I'm not. For a moment I thought I was muted because I was checking out my phone. But, uh, yeah, that's not the case. But yeah, anyways, uh, we have two teams, obviously. We have Ayato's Shirt and Retro Radio. And our first match is going to be Tower Control on good old Academy, Inkblot Art Academy. Um, yeah. Dally, share your opinion on this map mode. This instant oh. mode. <laughs> oh, so... You, you kind of put me on the spot. This is probably one of my the classic map, you know, bit yeah. of a staple from Splatoon 2. I, mean, I kind of enjoy playing on this map. I'm a ballpoint main, so, you know, I kind of just inch at the plat, the bats, <laughs> whatever. Shoot them in the eye and try not to die, obviously. I mean, yeah, I can, I can understand that. I feel like tower control on this map is Ooh. one of the good modes for this map especially if you have if you think about zones and raymaker um also we have a junior which is certainly interesting we have a v shot which has been it has gotten so much popularity ever since the last patch which obviously um buffed the shot and also the trizuka we have the the splatana being kind of in a battle here getting one pick and now there's yeah. three people at the at the same position, and now they're already ready to get the tower going. Oh, was that a stam kill just now? Uh, it was not, but I'm liking oh. how fast that uh, retro radio is playing right now. Albeit, I think it's a little bit crowded on the tower, but I can appreciate yeah. how fast that they <laughs> played because they've already gone and down this first checkpoint. Big bubbler on the tower protecting. And tower inkjet flying high as usual. This is going to be a very good crack in despite a. Jeez. Whoa. And why did it work? <laughs> Well, I thought crack and cheese was nerfed so far, you know, man. <laughs> yeah, I thought crack and cheese was nerfed. <laughs> oh, it was. It just yeah, is definitely. not easier. It's just not as easy to do. Or it's or, harder also, to do. Also, the junior's got a pick on like uh, the type of uh, just kind of teaming with the ball point. Junior just being your mainline support here. Um, also, the Splatana trying to go over edges, being kind of hard. I mean, it's not that easy, especially over that angle. Um, the stamp didn't get a pick on the uh, spot thing, so that didn't really help. The junior is kind of alone on the tower right now. <laughs> He's getting tripled. Yeah, it looks like they kind of just needed someone else to watch like the bats area. But you know what? That's all right. There's always there's still time on the clock, so you never know. They could get another push in, or I had a shirt can continue defending like they are. So yeah. with this pick on the end zap, things can start looking. Good right now for uh, yeah, like, retro radio. I feel like I feel like retro radio's aggression really, really kind of focuses on this one plat because they've been they've just been on this plat for like one minute, and every time someone on the team got picked off, um, they still remained on that plat, and they somehow were able to contain it. But now it seems like oh wait no, the junior's still alive, so <laughs> they still have so much control. I feel like. Ayato's shirt may take up the pace sometime, but it's certainly looking... Oh, come on, come on, come on, come on. Can, can it's a literal it? 1v1 Do situation, it, and no. both, <laughs> both died. Uh, oh, well. The crack so and cheese is starting crack, again. Crack and, yeah, crack and cheese. Ooh. I can't even tell if they got the pick or not, but... Whoa. No, I don't, I don't think the stamp got the pick, but it looked like it. Very much did. You know, I actually don't like shot right now. Like, I really can't stand <laughs> because it. Because it's too strong? No, I just hate Trizuka. Oh, tr oh same. Like, same. the most that's why, that's why I play Peepek. Happens to make me be. Happen to annoy me. It's happening to annoy me the most because of the 60 damage buff. Yeah. I mean, that's it's why. It's already jank in, like, flash. multiplayer, but now, like. On LAN, it's a whole different beast as well. Like, I can't- I really don't like Trizuka right now in this meta. Yeah, I can kind of understand that. Also, Ayano should really pick up their pace. I mean, they got to the first checkpoint, 
And now Ooh. the Tetra has almost fell off the map. It certainly didn't happen. And now the Spotana's fighting gets picked off. They're working on the second checkpoint. It seems like it's gonna work. Yes, it does. The end zap and oh. Why? They, they just got a wipeout. Okay. That went fast. They have the tactical or the deployed. The Trizuka follows up as well. Oh, they get shit. another wipeout. They try the crack and cheese. Why do they even try that? Doesn't even work. Um and yeah, they're working on the last checkpoint. What kind of reverse sweep is that? What the hell? The Splatana's fighting. They got a pick. But now the Splatana's the only person left. They ha they kind of got a wipeout. And now the 52 is the only one left. And now the ballpoint and the juniors are the art. What was that reverse sweep? What was happening? I wish I knew. Maybe, uh, maybe I had a shirt just decided it is time to win. My time has come. But I, I wish I could comprehend that because, like, like uh, the radio team, our radio team. I thought they had plenty of control. They had all the control in the world they need. Decent lead. Uh, oof. Sometimes you can have a good offense, but like no defense. Yeah. Like I, I'm, I'm kind of confused by everything right now because it just seems so subtle to suddenly change, like, the entire control of the map and suddenly Ayato's shirt just got the KO like it seems like it was going off the hand so easily but they were like in a disadvantage for like half of the half the match and that's why we're gonna be moving on to splash zones on Sturgeon that was the worst <laughs> I've never done like a worse switching to another topic ever um but yeah we're gonna have splat zones on Sturgeon shipyard I don't it's know solid. why you're. I don't know why you're all like this is the worst. I, I think you're just disliking this map, but I love this map. Not necessarily because it's good, but it just brings back so many good memories. This specific map and mode. I'm, I'm gonna. Why I'm not gonna tell you because I've kind of told the story quite a lot, but it just brings back good memories. I mean, I remember when I was still a Splatoon 2 player. Like at the at the beginning, I used to hate this map because I always lost on it. But now I actually think it's cool, especially Tower. Hmm. Yeah, I don't share that same opinion. Sorry. Yeah, I, it's okay. It's okay. I mean, Clan yeah, is, is obviously gonna... not good. <laughs> this is gonna def. We're definitely gonna see like a ballpoint return or maybe E leader from Sencon. I do believe Sencon is a E leader player. I've played against them a few times and with. They're pretty chill. But. Damn. Also, gotta play really careful around that E-Leader, because, you know, I'm yeah. a ballpoint main. I feel like, especially unlike that spinner, long-range weapon, oh yeah, we see the ballpoint. And we see no leader, we actually see a machine. I mean, what's wrong with the colors, though? Brownie, gotta fix that. <laughs> um. Yeah, I, I kinda don't mind. Yeah, it's 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 fine. But yeah, retro radios. Wait. Oh, it fixed. Yeah. No. Wait. Yeah. Ayato's shirts. Um, comp is fairly aggressive. I mean, they have the tactic cooler. They have two shooters. Um, they have the machine, even though it's not that good. Uh, but yeah, it's still solid. And they have tetras. I feel like they just want to get the full aggression mode. And we see that with the opening, they immediately got the zone, and they have the control. Not anymore! Why is this always applying? Like, every time I want to say something, it just changes rapidly. Well, this game is Splatoon, you know? Anything can yeah. happen. You never know what's going to happen. Now, Tacticaler is going to be popped up. Well, it's a little unfortunate about Tacticaler. It's not really going to necessarily help them get in, but it just gives them a bit of a lifeline to play recklessly, you know? Yeah. So, uh, yeah that's how like, I've always liked to be. More, especially the Tetras. I mean, they just have Creek Respawn anyway. Probably. If they don't, I, th I think there's something wrong. Um, the most benefit yeah, they're getting is, um, uh, what do you call it, is the special depletion, but for a reef slider, that's not like it's gonna matter. But anyways, yeah. pushing back the ball point, he taking it out, Tetra's running and taking him out. Gotta applaud that. But this is definitely really not good for a retro radio. They need to figure out a way in. Like, they, de they need a definite way in. In, but that, it looks like that machine's just gonna keep walling out, out those ledges. Oh, Ooh, I didn't even using see a gigantic there. hitbox again to get a pick. Typical machine. And yeah, that was 
That was really quick. I auto search just immediately got the KO on this. Retro Radio were only able to get a few points, and yeah, I auto search just immediately countered with the KO. And with that, they just won the set with a 2 to 0. Um, that was fast. Yeah, that was pretty, that was a pretty fast zones match. A little, a little unexpected. I thought there would have been a lot more of a fight going yeah. on, but especially if you think about it uh, what like it the last match. Yeah, like the last match, it went on for quite the while, but this mm -hmm. one, it was just a control for a moment, then lose. Yeah. Like that was insane. <clears throat> um. Yeah, but I think we're just gonna go on a short break. Um, we're just gonna get everything set up for the next teams, and yeah, folks, we'll see you in a bit.